9-5-5 as I start your daily love reading. Let's see what's going on. All right. You could be seeing synchronicities of five. All right. So you just completed a cycle with now being there. All right. This is change that's coming in. For a lot of you guys, this is two specific big changes coming in for you. Get in here. Let's take a look at you. I am your shaman empress, a.k.a. D. Shaman Homie Bird, and this is your spiritual nourishment. All right, so let's see what is going on when it comes to your love life. Let's get the deck and get the overall energy here. Let's take a look what we have. So we got the two of ones and a three of cups. Someone here is making a decision to connect with you. They could be having help. All right, you could be dealing with the Aryan or a Cancerian. Um, this person thinks light of you, choices, battles of the blues. Someone here could be having, um, could be upset about a choice they made. All right, um, between you and them, maybe this is why they are using other people, other friends to connect with you. Choices make the best choices. This could be someone that is telling you they didn't make the best choice with the two of ones that also is about decisions. This is also someone that could be getting, you know, other people, you know, in on the decision planning, the decision making. Yes, they think that's your confirmation because they know they need to make a choice. They want to make a choice. All right. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit's messages for the collective. All right. Just, just for the collective, please. All right. Let's see, guys. Ooh. All right. So we have potential and enlightenment. They said one well, more in legend. Yeah. So someone here sees the potential in this relationship. They are getting enlightenment for others. And these are people they already know. These are people they already trust is also what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. Out and cheer up. So someone here is watching you. All right, they could already have, like, their eye on you, all right? Um, this person wants a relationship, or they see a potential relationship. But there, it's like Battle of the Blues can't come up. But this is someone here, maybe they had, you know, they want to cheer up by healing something with you. There's something about potential that they're seeing. Someone here could have also got a crystal ball reading. Someone here also knows that um, you connect um, to Oshun for some of you guys. Some of you guys also are connecting to the fairies. You know, the fairies guard children. So the fairies could have been with you as a child. This can also be your child. Um... Yeah, something here, you know, tigers in the spirit represents, like, bravery, also cunning. So, something here could have been cunning. And, it's like, someone here um, is feeling it. Let's see. Someone, someone here could be connecting. Some of you guys are connecting with Archangel Ariel. She has been with you since a child. The fairies could have uh, sent you. Um or, you know, to her or showed you, as you can see how she's in a crystal ball, she can see, you see the fairies, they guard the children, okay, fairies, so you know that, some of you guys could be seeing fairies, you might have seen fairies and didn't even know what, what they were, you're like, yeah, what is that, you know, what is that, what, what is that, and that's kind of how it happens, so you know, all right, let's see. Some of you guys, oh, the energy is like spit team. Someone here is also connected to the Hindu trap. What's going on? All right. This person here is like, I don't know if they're like veiling depression, going through depression because it is. Someone here also has an Albano family member. Okay. Someone in your family. This is also someone that could have been deceased. Oh, my beautiful universe and Holy Spirits. Also, they're protecting you. Peacock feathers also represents um, protection. All right. You have two family members that's protecting you. All right. Some of you guys also are seeing a lot of different um, lotus flowers, or you could be seeing a lotus flower. Um, this could be anywhere, anyhow. A new store, Ace of Cups. 
Okay. Uh, and the Three of Pentacles. So this is what you're going to be going through with a new person that you're about to connect with. I want to work with you here. We also have the Nine of Swords. I feel like some of you guys are nervous to get back out there. This could be you needing to cheer up. This could be you that just went through a battle of the blues as well. So this could be your energy. Oh, we got the Ace of Cups and we have the Two of Swords here. Okay. All right, so this is somebody new, all right, that you're about to connect with. Now, someone here does go back and forth with whether this would or could work. Damn, you got five cards that popped out for you. We got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Nine of One. We have the Nine of Ones. Excuse me, they said the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So someone here does see you as like wifey material, hubby material, Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius and Capricorn energy real strong. Okay. Um, here, someone here could see, feel yeah, like you're, you need to let your guard down. They could feel like you need to let your guard down. You're too guarded up. All right. They want you to give in more. All right. Someone here wants you to give in more. Some shit like that is also what I'm getting. Um, this person does uh, feel like, you know, it, it, it's like, how can I put this? I, I don't want to say this, but like this, but there's no other way to say it. They feel like it's your fault. Like this is someone that could be blaming you of why this isn't going to work. To be quite honest with you, it's like, yeah, they're not. <laughs> Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and a Death card. It's like, you know, uh, what's this? In the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here could feel like, you know, you know, you want to be single. Okay, you know, or you must want to be single. Take it how it resonates, okay? Like, the because you're too guarded, you know, or something like that. Yeah, the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. Like, you're too mysterious. This could be someone here also that is like, you know what, you know, maybe I need to move on to a new cycle. Something here is too, is like too much or something is going on. We have uh, 9772 is what I'm picking up. I'm also seeing 9711. All right. Let's get your angel number. All right. Angel number 9772. Believe you should have goals. Also, you should be creative so that you can make it in life. There are opportunities around for you. It's Someone here, it's like they feel like you're not being creative. You're not open up for new opportunity, a new cycle. Also, that's what this represents. This can also be like a new person um, here. And it's like you're too closed off. And how are you going to have a relationship? How thinking like this, going back and forth like this, two of swords and the six, of, you know, six, I'm sorry, the three of pentacles is here. Okay, maybe, you know, Six of Pentacles is going to come out or something like that. But why is, you know, they could be questioning why you like this or how is this going to happen if you stay like this? You have to break a cycle. This could be someone here to, that wants, you know, to say this to you as well. This is why they are thinking about walking away, going to walk away. Now, this could even be you. So put it where the energy is. Okay, but this is the message. All right, let's see what else is going on here, guys. And it's like, but the thing is, you're the queen of pentacles, whether you're a man or a woman, so they know that you are wifey, hubby material. It's like that, that is not the question here. Okay, it, it could have a lot to do like with your ways or something. Um, let's see. What's the Two of Swords? So this person is going back and forth whether this, this would work. For some of you guys, this could be also, um, like a work situation. Something, you know. All right. 
<sighs> so we got the three of we got the three of cups and the ten of pentacles. Okay. Oh, and the nine of pentacles. So someone here could have already be thinking about my thing is when you start thinking about it, yep, three of pentacles and the eight of cups. So they could have started thinking about walking away to another situation. All right. Or another situation that's going to work. Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles. That's what this person is is feeling. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, another offer. That's that's what they're. That's what's happening. Or this is you, okay? Yeah, because it's too much with the Seven of Wands. All right, it's, there's too much blockage. Okay, yeah. Ace of Cup. It's like if, if someone here could feel some kind of way about this. However. This is what it is. Um, let's see. Oh, they've been pulling me towards my um deck here. Magician. Yeah. So they're, yeah. Someone here is lying. Eight of swords. Yep. Mm -mm. Someone here is about to like, uh, it, this is like leave somebody stuck. Yep. Magician and lover's card. Yeah. The eight of swords. Leave somebody stuck ju juggling. The lover's card and the three of swords. Yeah. Someone here is like, for somebody... This is happening. I N G. What's the seven of ones? You guys might hear my niecey poo pooing in the background. What's the seven of ones? Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. What is the seven of ones? Okay. Oh, thank you. The hermit. I can't make this shit up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Page of Swords to the Death card. They're lying. They're going to end this. Someone here is like, I, I I don't know how what to say. It's like, I mean, it's like they don't want to though. They could feel like you know I know it's because of you know something you might have to heal. I'm gonna grab another deck. They see this, but it's like. No, someone here could feel like, you know, you're close. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles is, because she guards purity and innocence. So when it comes to the Empress, we all know embodies um, all queens. Okay, whether you're a man or a woman, okay, it's just energy. But, um, yeah, it's like, you know, you, 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 I don't know, something. Yeah, you this person's like wish fulfillment. That's what this is. And they don't want to do this. Yep, they don't. They really don't. But sure not. Yep, you're too guarded. Seven of Wands, Light of Pentacles. And nothing has moved much. Or they don't feel like, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles. Here you are again. So this is Ten of Swords, the Hangman. So it's like someone here could be putting this on hold or like a pause. Yeah. They're like, wait, I'm going to just put this on hold. Yeah, I'm going to give you some time. To the... Someone here is giving you time. Is this person trying to say they're going to give you time to, until you get your, your shit together? Because they want you to be, they, you know, I don't, like, I want you to become the empress. I see your potential. Yep, the devil court of the nine of swords. This person here is nervous. They could have got mad. They could have been a little anxious because of this. They got anxiety because of this. They're mad here. But someone here, it's like something, it's too, too guarded. If you too open up, they might have felt like, you know, this is something that needs to be expressed. Maybe you need time. Um, You have great potential or you feel like this about this person. But yeah, potential. Here it is right here. But you, it's it, this, it, it's too, I don't know, something there, they can't, yeah, justice is being here. It's like, you know, I can't, I'm not mad at you, but now for some of you guys, I got to be honest with you. It, 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 this is somebody that is like, You know, you could be taking your time here because we got the Nine of Pentacles out here with the with the Queen of Pentacles, all right? For some of you guys, you're really not, you know, it's not about the sex right now. You know, this is somebody that's, look, this is a live wire. 
they're not really looking for like someone here is intimacy would be on a back burner for this person. This is somebody right now that's about that action. You guys are opposites. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, spiritual burps. That's that's what this is. Okay, that's what's going on here. All right, so someone here is like open to meet somebody new. Someone here could have told the universe they would be wanting to meet somebody new or they're going to meet somebody new and it's coming in. All right. Um, others of you guys, this could be you. Yeah, because the world card's here. This could also be you um, getting a new cycle or a off is opening up a new cycle for somebody to come in. All right. I got to see what else is going on with the seven of ones. Is, what else do we need to know on the seven of ones? Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. This flipped out. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's what I'm saying. This mother... Look, somebody here is like, look, I'm, I'm, I, they want to have sex. They want to, you know, you're looking more... You want to be... You want to connect intimate first. Yeah. That's how you want to manifest. And somebody here is not mad at that. But it's... It just... It just... It's... It's... it's, it's, it's more time. It's more energy. Somebody here don't want to put in the work. No, they don't. They don't want to put in the work. So that's why this is ending. That's why they're going to end up ghosting you. Someone here could feel like they really tried, though. But how could you say that? You know, it's like, look, I feel you. I know you want to be intimacy. I know you want to connect and all this and all that. But, you know, right now, I'm just... Like, they don't want to do that. <laughs> The king of ones in reverse want to go home, all right? Or want to spend a night and go home in the morning. They're not... It's like you are playing a wifey hubby role. You are doing what you think you should do to attract a relationship, a person. Someone here is looking at this as they're, they want a really, really good time or some shit like that, all right? They know that you are close to... Like, the empress is also married, so your fiancé material. This person could be looking at you like, you know, you want to get married. You want to be in a relationship. You, I'm really... Somebody here is not on that right now. They just don't know how to say it. But they don't... But you're a good person. They feel like they're very attracted to you. They like the innocent and pureness that you bring, so they don't want to walk away. Uh, uh, or walk away like that. Or, you know what, let me just pause this and I'm going to come back to this because right now I'm on this. And it doesn't work like that. That's why you're also getting a new cycle from the universe. All right, what else is going on here? So you know, it, it don't work like that. Some of you guys got a purple towel. What is this? Yep, hope. Yep, hope. Hope. And this is someone here that's hoping enemy that you won't turn enemy against them or something like that. Yep, because they do got love for you. They do. All right. But they this person is like, you know, they're not you're wanna feel emotions. You you want a relationship. You wanna see where this really goes. They're 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 like, you know, they wanna see how this really gonna flow. Y'all y'all are, are total opposites right now. But see, that's the thing. Opposites do attract. So that's why you guys could have been attracted to each other. This is also why this person is like, don't want to leave, but they're going to walk away because they want to have their own little fun. They're looking for a little bit of action now. This is why this, and that, why, why, another reason why they want to put you on pause, want to put you on a hold. Someone here is putting you on ice. They're putting you on pause. All right. Or this is you, honey. You know, you can take it how it resonates here. Let's see what this person's feelings and emotions is towards you. For the universe and Holy Spirit, messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Someone's ancestors walk with a cane, or ancestor walk with a cane. What is this? Oh my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Time for shit to get real. Yeah, and this it's it's about to get real between you. That's what I'm saying. This is happening. Someone here is in their head. It's already manifesting. Um, Just walk away. Yep. And it's like, you know what? I'm not even going. I'm going to just walk away. I'm going to just put this whole thing on pause. And I'm going to come back. But see, they better hope your ass ain't married. Pack your bags. Yeah. 
do the damn dishes. Yeah, time to let go. Your friends miss your face. Someone here is going to start like, you know, spending more time with their friends or something like that. Or, you know, when some people get separate or distance or when it starts to like come, you know, dry up between a connection, how like, you know, you start uh, hanging with your girlfriends, you know, just last month when y'all was on strong, though, you know, you had to put the girlfriends on pause. You see how that works? All right. All my beautiful universe and holy messages for the collective. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Ooh. Yeah, I really like this cloth, but it's like one of the clinky cloths. And they'd be like, ooh, child. All right. I like the hues and the pigments. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's the written messages for the collective? What's the written messages for the collective? I am the man. I cry at night. This person is going to cry at night. I can't express myself. My life is a is a mess right now. These feelings are eating me alive. Okay. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. I cannot make this shit up. Mm. What do you see in me? <sighs> Child, I can't make it up. Um, You could look at this person different, all right? Or I don't know. It might change the way you look at somebody or something like that. Let's get some um, letters here. So this person, uh, I feel like someone here could feel like it, everything is a mess. Also, because it's like they see all these qualities. Someone here knows that it's like, you know how you know damn well you shouldn't do something you're about to do, but you, you, you're going to do it. This person knows damn well walking away from you, they would be a fool, but they're about to do it. It's because of the devil. It's their, their, their temptation. Their desires is to keep, it's like keeping them away from intimacy. Archangel Zach Hale, we got um, that uh, rules like organization, rituals, and power. We got T, we got N here, and we got the new eclipse in April. All right, yeah, this is a lot of energy coming in a new e eclipse. This is when Venus meets Mars, so it looks like an X on a planet, right? That's with all them symbols and the X that you guys are seeing. So this is what's coming in for so, so, so for that's what I'm saying. For some of you guys, you're still with this person. Or y'all will still be with this person or some shit like that. This is not going to, this energy is going to start coming in to um, the divine mess. This is coming in April. This could be a group of divine masculines or uh, feminines or something like that as well. What more is representing the divine masculines? Obviously, Venus representing the divine feminine energy. <sighs> something like, something like that it, to the effect that's here is what's coming in. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Okay. Oh, I already did this. Sorry, guys. They said you already did that. All right, let's get you a love oracle. Mm -hmm. I love my ancestors. They be on top of the honey. All right, what's the love oracle message for the collective? Let's see. What's the love oracle message here? Let's see. What's the love oracle? All right. We have a night of passion embracing a whole new identity. That This is it. Someone here is like they're going to sabotage a real connection because they... And then honestly, to be honest, if this person is not ready, they just ain't ready. They just need to say that. It's like I always like to use this example. If you take the cake out the oven too soon, it ain't done. So it is what it is, right? Yeah, forced in, cunning, the dark side. Yeah, this is like cunning or something. Secret help is here. It's like too much. It's like, yeah, some of you guys, to be honest with you, you might, I don't want to say happy, but you might have to let this person walk. It is what it is. It's like, you know, you could be on a whole different vibration. 
it's like a whole different vibration. It's like you guys could be opposites, but be on like separate vibrations or something like that. What is the um sea merman? Sorry, guys, they are loud in the background. We got wild here. We got being open minded, and we got prudence. So yeah, this could get wild. <laughs> this could get a little crazy. Somebody here could still, you know, I told you, and the reason why it's going to be crazy because it's like they feel like they someone here could just do this just because they got to get like a chip off their shoulder, or they just want to have sex or a couple or or whatever. Damn it. And they're going, so they're going to blow off. this because of that. And then they're going to try to come back and feel bad. And it's like, what? Because they let the devil win. That's it. I mean, it is what it is. It happens, guys. You know? So at the end of the day, you're going to have to keep, you know, pushing through. And you're going to get a new cycle. What is this? Mercury, communication, 11th house is here. Pisces. Yeah, they're going to be in their feelings. Yeah, they're we in the era of Aqua Aaron. What did I tell you? Venus. When Mars meet Venus. You are this person's Venus. And they're going to fuck this up so bad for a temptation. And this is somebody that really probably never really experienced intimacy. You only do that with a certain counterparts. You have to learn how to read the Akasha, right? And that's what I read for, regardless if it go how <laughs> haywire or not. If you are sent to me, you are here, you are encountering with your real soulmate and or twin flame, period. Yeah. Cancerian is here. Waterbenders is here. Um, uh, This is a contract, Jupiter. That is a will of fortune as well. All right. We got Aries energy too. Yeah. All right, guys, I love you all. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to hit that bell, hit all, stay tuned in, and tap into your messages. All right, and that's how you keep getting your messages as well, um, energetic donations to the channels. All right, I love you all. Stay dope. I'll catch you next time you stop back in your next video upload. I'll share it in my.